Step 4. Wave equation 2. In this step, we will show you what the wave equation looks like so that you have some idea where we are going to go next with the, with the lesson. So the differential wave equation in one dimension looks like this. It's short, but it's very loaded with notation. So we've got our wave psi, and any wave has to satisfy the following relationship. The second partial derivative of psi with respect to x, so with respect to the spatial coordinate, has to be equal to 1 over v squared, where v is the speed of the propagation of the wave, times the second partial derivative of psi with respect to time. So that's that. And this is a very interesting relationship because it's relating how the psi is varying with respect to the spatial coordinate, and it's basically equal to the rate of uh, how psi is varying with respect to time up to this multiplicative factor of 1 over v squared where v, remember, is just, um, is just a parameter that we can set. So that's not, that, that's not changing. So before we actually go into the mathematics of uh, deriving this equation and later solving it, let's, let's mention some general properties of the wave equation. So first of all, it is linear. What linear means is that if you give me one psi, let's say psi 1, that satisfies the following relationship, and then you find another different psi 2 that also satisfies the relationship, you can take the superposition of these two um, solutions. So psi 1 plus psi, uh, sorry, psi 1 plus psi 2 will also be a valid wave equation solution. Next, the following equation is uh, homogeneous. What that means is that there are no forces of energy, so there is no forcing. So we have our wave, it's propagating through space and time, and it follows this relationship. But we don't actually care how the wave was produced. And next, it's a partial differential equation, like we mentioned, and that's because uh, our wave uh, description, our wave shape psi, is a function of two variables. It's a function of the space coordinate x and the time coordinate uh, t. Now, if we go into higher dimensions, which we go in the following lesson, you will not only have one spatial coordinate, but you will have x, y, and z, for example, if you're working in 3D. So in total, you, have, you will have four coordinates, x, y, z, and t. And also, this uh, wave equation is very general. So it describes any wave. It doesn't matter whether it's a pressure variation, so if it's a sound wave, so it's a longitudinal wave, or if it's a transverse wave, for example, a wave on a string, or if it's an electromagnetic wave. All waves must satisfy this uh, equation in 1D. In 3D, it will be slightly different, but the form will be very similar. So now, before we actually derive this, show you how to derive this wave equation in one dimension, uh, we will spend a little bit of time reviewing some properties of partial derivatives in the next step.